tough and be like, you know, the Lord, it's like hard to pray because the Lord, it's not hard to pray, it's like hard to sit there and be like, you know, ask for certain stuff. Like the Lord knows what you want. So it's like, damn, you know, what did I say now? You know, sometimes it's on your spirit to talk about something specific, but really, it's to, you just go over the Lord's prayer. You send up curses, you send up blessings. You know what I'm saying? There's certain situations in particular which you pray about, but mainly it's them curses, those blessings, getting up out of here. You know, that's a, that's a situation, a circumstance, you know? But overall, it's like, you know, Lord, know what I want, you know, like, you know, like we going out of town to a different state, then we send up prayers so that we make it there safe. That's the situation. Now, we just randomly, like, I pray for the birds, the bees. Pray that I have a food, a nice meal tonight. Like, if the Lord dealing with you, look, you're going to eat, you're going to, all that shit is going to be cool, man. You know what I'm saying? You better pray your ass make it make it to see another day, you know? Like, but that's not nothing to pray for either, man. You know? But just, you know, no, you know, you don't want to get shot in the face, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> shit like that, you know? Like, you know, so basically, Lord, watch over you, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really, the spiritual elements, pray that you, you know, pray for discipline, pray for increased faith, pray for tenacity, pray for to keep your fire lit, you know? Pray to not, not, uh, have respect to persons, you know, because you, the things that we battle with is ourselves, man, you know, like pray, pray for perfection, man, pray to be perfect, you know. It says, all the works of the Lord are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. Yeah, everything will have its time, man, like people gotta die, everybody gotta die when, as far as now, ain't no chariots coming picking nobody up on this, on, at, in this time. All the chariots doing other stuff. Because it ain't the time for chariots to pick us up like Enoch and Elijah. It's not that type of time because of uh, Adam's transgression. So right now, you got you to gotta, you gotta get, gotta get back. You got you to gotta go to basically, we got to get down to uh, Louisiana. You can take it by boat or take it by airplane. Unfortunately, there's no more airplanes. So you got to, I mean, you got you to gotta go by car. Not by boat, but by car. So basically what I'm saying is that chariots ain't beaming us up right now. So we gotta take other transportation and that's death, you know? That's getting shot in the face, that's cancer, you know? That's getting hit by a bus, it's drowning. You know, a disease, you know? Just, you might just get a stroke, give up the ghost, man. Might just, might just get it out. Up. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hurt though, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Heart start beating. You know, death by pain, man. You know what I'm saying? Like sting. The sting. The sting is gonna hurt, man. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be fun. It's, it's not, not a like sting a cherry over nothing. you. Like, oh shit! See y'all niggas later. Yeah. Like if if that's how I know I'm about to die, that's cool. I'm totally fine with a, a, a spaceship of the chariot of the Most High coming over me and just beam me up, and I just transition into the the uh, different element. A different dimension. That's like uh, like Yoda. When Yoda died on Star Wars, you know, he was just in it. He was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm old. I've been here for 900 years. I've been training Jedi's for, you know what I'm saying, 800 years. It's my time to go. Yeah. And then that nigga just like disappeared. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, I'm about to leave. Like, <laughs> like, you go. Like, that, that's, that's. When it's another dimension, like, <laughs> back it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go out like that, you know. <laughs> go ahead. That's into that. Let's get back to that job. Hereby know we that we are in Him. That He saith that suck it. He that saith He abideth in Him all Himself also, so to walk, even as He walked. Yep. You gotta walk as your how shy walk. All right, like. People say, oh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai had a full beard, man. Yahweh Shai had his fro, man. Yahweh Shai was, he was doing the work in, in season, out of season. You don't hear about him taking breaks. If he left, he went to go pray. You know what I'm saying? He ate, he did things, but he, you know, of course they didn't record everything because they called him a, 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 a drunkard. You know what I'm saying? But you don't really hear about him drinking like that. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they, that means they didn't record everything. Y'all was getting towed up, and he come out there, he do the work, not tow up, but he come out there and do the work, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, he, you don't know how he did the work, I can't say he was lit, 
I'm pretty sure he probably has some yang yang on his breath doing some of the work sometimes, man. You know? Doing them, getting, you know, uh, reproving people, chilling. You know? Like how we, the same spirit that we have, you know, that, that had to be, you know, um, how the Lord was. Not exactly, because the Lord was real highly disciplined, you know? This shit was off the chain. He was, it was perfect. Yeah. You know? He chilled when it was time to chill. He got busy when it was time to get busy. He prayed when it was time to pray. And he didn't miss, he didn't miss a chance, you know? That's how we're going to be in New Jerusalem, though. How, how the Lord walked down here. You know, we got to strive to do that, man. You can't sit there and like, I'm just going to be on the kingdom. You know? Go ahead. Brethren. I write to you no new commandment unto you. Yeah, that's what I want. It's, this is no new thing. Okay, go ahead. Hello. I don't know. Yeah, you probably had like a, a system, like a PC system or some shit. Hello. Your CV, whatever it's called. Yes. Brethren, I write, I write no new commandment unto you. But an old commandment which ye had from the beginning, the old commandment is the word which ye had heard from the beginning. Yeah, so I gave that a reference to what we were we were doing now. This is no new thing, but it's old, but it's still new. And and a lot of people get that Mr. School was saying that the old testament is done away with. You know what I'm saying? So read that again. They're coming from the sky. <laughs> They're coming directly from the clouds. <laughs> the clouds are you. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which you had from the beginning. Yeah, that's the Old Testament. That's the old things that happened. Okay, go ahead. The old commandment is the word from... Suck it. The old commandment is the word which ye had heard from the beginning. Yep. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you. Yeah, so then he said, I write unto you new. He said, I'm something that's new, but it's really old. And it was old. It was, it was, it's not new because it's old, but I write a new thing unto you. You know, it's basically, it's the word coming back, okay? Like we always get the concept of the new moon, okay? What we're doing out here. Is a, is a new thing to these people. That's why. What are you doing out here? Like, even though it's old, though, it's new to you. You know what I'm saying? They, they, there was no, you know, uh, uh, through reincarnation. But we know through reincarnation that you don't remember past things, right? So there's no person that that was in the time of Yahweh Shai or, or, or um, the rest of the disciples. Uh, you know, Peter. You know, in the, in the um. The rest of these brothers that are still here today, man. So basically, you ain't got one of the niggas like, oh, I seen that before. Like, that was, <laughs> Paul, Paul and them was doing that. Like, no, there ain't you nobody ain't walking Paul, around there. You, <laughs> you know, you, ain't, you don't have nobody walking around that seen Paul with his fleshly eyes and seen us with their fleshly eyes in that same body. You know, that's they, nobody walking around like that. So that's why the old thing became new. It's basically, it stopped. This truth vanished for a while, you know, and then it came back. So that's why people walk around and you're supposed to, this is new. This is like, what the hell are y'all doing? Y'all supposed to be coming up and inquiring as Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Give me that in, um, I think it's Isaiah, the first chapter. When he said, um, I came to my own people. You know what I'm saying? If I came to, in the most high, say, if I came to another nation, they would accept it. <laughs> but surely, you, you niggas just don't want it, man. It should stir up your pure minds, man. Yeah, by <laughs> way, by way of remembrance, yeah. man. You Did know, you want it or you? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. That, you know what I'm talking about in Isaiah. Uh, he said, uh, "If I came, show if I came to another nation, they would have, they would have hearkened unto me." You know, because hey, Esau in these times, they they want it, they want that salvation, man. And they'll do whatever it takes, man. You know what I'm saying? They they got that Antiochia spirit on them right now, man. Because it's it's, it's just like Esau. It's, it's time to reap. It's time to reap that uh, prophecy. Just like when he gave up that birthright. He didn't give a damn about that birthright. But now that that birthright came around, he all mad. He's crying and shit. Seen him valuable. 
He all salty and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how he is now. He was talking all that shit. They still talking a little shit. They still talking a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? But you got other eating mice that's like, look, man, it's, it's almost time to go. I, I won't, I won't go now. I don't want to be here anymore. You know, it's like, no, nigga, you was, you created GMOs and did all kind of wickedness, man. And now all of a sudden, you ready to go? You want salvation now? No, it don't work like that. You know? Now you sorry. <laughs> yeah, now you sorry. Oh, my bad, bro. Can I? Can I? You let me know, man. That ain't how the game go. That's some whole shit. That cherry is doing yeah. <laughs> That cherry sure look nice. Seeing a nigga a week go, you y'all stupid. Why y'all looking up there like it's gonna come and get you? You know, then it was time to get picked up. You ain't lying. You know? <laughs>